They're trying to project their trauma onto you. Wow, okay. Somebody's trying to project trauma onto you. If you're feeling some kind of sad energy or something like that, that's not you. That's not your energy. A lot of you guys already know that. So this is just clarity. I'm sensing somebody's sad over something with a mother figure. They could be sad with something with their parents. Okay, soulmate. Something about a soulmate. Similar friendship, romantic partner. Spirit's telling me they're sad over you and a soulmate. This could possibly be a friend doing this. They're trying to project their trauma onto you and your soulmate. Spirit's telling me. Yeah, wish and cleansing because they see you moving on from them or something. Wish, hope, praying, yearning, cleansing. You guys are trying to move on from someone. Whoever's doing this, y'all are trying to move on from them or cleanse from them. Cleansing. A lot of y'all could be doing a lot of healing today, cleaning your home. Some of y'all could be doing a sage, saging your home, meditation, clearing space removing negativity all this negative energy you guys are feeling is coming from someone else some narcissist spirit tell me it's a narcissist they're trying to project their trauma onto you this may be a narcissist that was trying to have you feel like you was a narcissist or something. This is someone that's constantly uh, projecting or deflecting their pain or trauma onto you. They're sad. Something with your self-worth and fate. They could know you guys are going through a rebirth. Top of the deck is rebirth. Winter. Detours, divine intervention. There's a divine intervention, something with you and a soulmate's fate and you guys are self-worth. You guys are at a very similar stage in your life right now. Something with your soulmate or twin flame journey. I'm hearing something like they hate their mom or something. Family and tribe. Yeah, healing reverse. This person has a hole in the soul. They don't want to heal. They have some kind of trauma from their past with their family. Or it could be something with a tribe. Yeah. Somebody sees some kind of truth. Their family is going to be finding something out. Whoever's trying to project their trauma onto you. Their family or relatives or a group or a tribe, somebody's going to find some truth or secrets out about them. They're looking at you and your soulmate like you guys are real strong. A lot of y'all could be getting in shape. Healing reverse, yeah. This person on this card is crying. That's not y'all. Some of you guys could be feeling something coming and going in waves. Spirit's telling me something's coming in waves. Yeah, they don't want to heal. They just want to keep projecting it. They could be trying to project this onto a couple. Definitely you and your soulmate. That's what they're sad about.
they got exposed or something, but then they're trying to make sure some cycle doesn't end up. They don't want to do the inner work, basically. You guys caught something elusive, dishonesty, deception, trickery. Yeah, they can't cover up some truth no more. I couldn't keep you trapped. Trapped, reversed, stuck, tied down, captive. They can't keep y'all trapped. This could be someone that's moving somewhere. They're about to move. They could be getting ready to live with their friends or family or a group. Yeah, they're trying to project their family trauma onto you. Onto you, your soulmate, or both of you. Goddess of the soul reversed. Goddess of prosperity reversed. You could be quiet or silent with them. That person could be very disrespectful or you lost respect for them. Something with someone's soul. They're not prospering. This person's not changing. They're not changing or something. They're trying to delay an ending. They're trying to stop a change or delay a change. Yeah, it's like depressing energy. They're trying to, they're trying to project. They don't want to go into solitude, solitude reversed. They don't want to retreat. They don't want to do introspection, silence. They can be trying to get you to stop being silent with them. They don't want to go deep within themselves. Definitely a narcissist. They need to ground themselves. Spirit says ground yourself. It's a very good time right now at the time of this reading. It's always a good time to ground yourself, actually, but it's a real good time to ground yourself right now. When you detach from awareness of your body in the physical world, I feel like this person, yeah, it's something like this person could be, um, what do you call it? Oh, this person is like trying to like disassociate or something. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to disassociate and project it onto you and your soulmate. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heaven, heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. Y'all could be a Virgo, be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Something is happening to where the universe is intervening and making sure you guys have wish fulfillment. There's some kind of hope for you and a soulmate. Y'all are cleansing, clearing energy, removing negativity from this person. They're sad because you guys love yourselves. Because you're confident. Legends. Learn from those who inspire you. Yeah, children, top of the day. They may have some kind of childhood trauma that they're trying to project. Like, they can't stand that you're happy. That's a huge trigger for somebody.
Barry says they're feeling shaken to the core. Ten of Pentacles reversed. <clears throat> Excuse me, Page of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, it's something with their family. Some of y'all, this could be your actual relatives. This person could be having financial problems, financial issues. They're unstable. They could be very immature, childish. They're not growing and not maturing much. This person may be lazy. Yeah, they're childish and stuff. They're just doing a lot of black magic over you. Seven of Pentacles. A lot of Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They may be trying to delay something or procrastinate on something. Page of Swords. Okay, someone is thinking about how they have to tell the truth or speak or say something. It's a Cups reverse, Two of Cups. Yeah. They're sad over a couple. Like I said, they're sad, crying, emotional. They're trying to project that onto you guys to make you guys think you're sad. They want you to take responsibility or accountability for their trauma. They could be seeing you invested into this relationship or some friendship. Spirit keeps telling me their family's gonna find out the truth or something. That this person's been lying. Yeah, this person is traumatized, bitter, Queen of Swords reversed. You guys are in the temperance energy. Calm, peaceful, cleansing, healing. You've been doing your inner work. Y'all been clearing space, meditating. You guys are somebody very spiritual or focused on your spirituality, ascending. Something could be balancing out for you and a soulmate. There's gonna be some kind of travel. Someone's lying to a family or something like that. They're lying to their family or something. Whoever this is is very uh, dishonest, vengeful. Three of Swords, they're heartbroken. Devil reversed. You could be detaching from them, severing ties, you're not trying to be attached to them no more. This is definitely a narcissist you're getting out of your life. Somebody talks very, very, very toxic, very dark. They were trying to have you and a soulmate in this devil energy, trying to control you guys, have power, d domination over young. They may have been trying to keep you binded. Seven of Cups. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. They need to do the inner work. They got work to do. Instead of trying to confuse you guys or playing your energy. They want you to think um, that's your energy. They want you to feel like you guys are sad. It's like an illusion. They're trying to spin or create illusions or something. To make y'all think y'all are sad. But all their focus is on is, is uh, some two of Cups. Soulmates or a couple. Or some friends, possibly, or a romantic partner. Whoever this is, maybe delusional. This could be a, a feminine, possibly a single feminine. That's all they do is, is watch you guys, study you. They gotta start planning something. This person may be going through a foreclosure or something like that, um, or soon they're going to. They're having money, very bad money problems. This person may be getting ready to lose a house, um, lose property, cars, things, jobs, something like that. Jug. Lighthearted, carefree time, yeah. 
you and a soulmate are having a lighthearted, carefree time. You guys are happy grounding yourselves, balancing up. Yeah, anger, lightning. Lightning may strike. Control your anger or you will be sorry. This person is angry. Yeah, this is this is a problem right here. They're stuck in some self-delusions. Beware of self-delusion. They're deluding themselves. That's them. That's their energy. This person's extremely toxic. They never thought you was going to realize that they was toxic or find something out about them. What are they angry about? Let's go over this real quick. I'm not going to stay stuck on this karmic energy. What are they angry about? Robbery. Something about a robbery and loss. They lost something or they're about to... This could be someone that was trying to steal from you guys, rob you. Someone could be 59. Some of y'all could have a 13 year old. Something's ending out. They're angry because you guys are balancing out in peace and the temperance energy. They wanted to stay, they're trying to steal your happiness and peace. Some of y'all, this could be someone that went into your house and stole something or stole something from your home unfairness they could feel like it's unfair this person is crying on this card they're in sorrowful energy something's over for them they can't it's divine intervention someone could have took a detour it's divine intervention so they can't they can't stop you guys from being happy they may have been trying to stop you guys from being in some prosperity energy legends learn from those who inspire you you guys could be legends or something legendary angry robbery lies you have greatly impacted my life they're mad because someone impacted your life greatly and then they're mad because you're standing in your power which is way more forward moving then slipping into a deeply ingrained pattern. Catch yourself. They're saying, I cannot get you off my mind. This person's a fool is here too. If you guys are dealing with somebody like this, you can call on or ask Archangel Michael to shield and protect you from any lower vibrational energies. That's them. That's, that's your enemy or something. Someone is trying to intimidate, oppress, or pressure you stand strong and do not back down yeah they see you guys like working on yourselves and stuff basically they have to believe in their own mind that something is wrong with you so that they can feel better This is a narcissist that's always trying to make it seem like it's somebody else's problem, it's their problem, it's their problem, it's all that it says. This is this is some karmic, some karmic narcissist. Can't get you off my mind. Empress lovers. Yeah, this is something with a mom. That may be their mom or your mom, some mother figure. Or it could be a divine feminine. They cannot stop thinking about an empress and a soulmate. They can't stop thinking about divine feminine and a soulmate. They can't stop thinking about some, some soulmates. Oh yeah, king of pentacles. It's a masculine and a feminine. Yeah, this could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Libra, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aquarius. You guys are not scared of them. Mm -hmm. They're delusional. Nine of Swords. This person is definitely delusional. You guys are on the Ten of Cups. Happy. Completely happy. Completely blessed. Full of joy. 
You could be spending time with your kids, with your family members, your relatives or family friends. Yeah, that's their trauma, that's sad.